Hello, and welcome to Stage Screen and In Between. I'm Helen. Tonight, we're at the beautiful Crest Hollow Country Club for the Long Island Hospitality Ball, benefiting the Carol M. Baldwin Cancer Research Foundation. It's going to be a fabulous night. There's going to be celebrities, great food, music, spirits, and best of all, a lot of love and money being raised for this terrific cause. Stay tuned. I'm here with actor-filmmaker Sal Ranella. How are you doing tonight, Sal? That's so great that you're coming out to support this great cause. Thank you, Helen. I mean, first of all, Alec Baldwin and the Baldwins are like iconic in Long Island. We're at the Hospitality Ball, and this was started by Keith Hart, and he is a cancer survivor himself, and uh, he likes to honor the Carol Baldwin Foundation and help her get the funds up. So it's uh, everybody, a whole village, coming together to try to help one another, and that's what tonight is all about. Great music, food, spirits. What else could you want? Great people. I'm here with Christine Marino, and she is the founder of A World of Pink. Aren't you terrific? Tell the people what it is that you're doing. A World of Pink provides prosthetics, bras, and lingerie for women who are experience breast cancer surgery. We provide balance, and we make them feel beautiful and sexy again. Isn't that something? And that's a need that we really have on Long Island, isn't yes. it, Christine? Yes. Now, how, how long ago did you start the company? It's a year and a half. We have three locations going on our fourth, which is going to be a great spa for women with the breast of everything. And um, I want women to know that their insurance covers their items, their bras and their prosthetics, and they're entitled to have something before and after. And through the whole process of surgery, we want to provide something so that they can get right back into their life and feel good again. Right. And keep on going. Do you have a website where people can find out more, Christine? Yes, we do. It's a worldofpink.com and a worldofpinkstore.com. And I encourage everyone to come. And we also have a bra called The Carol. Uh, the bra was made in the name of Carol Baldwin with a designer and a world of pink. And $5 of the sale goes to the Breast Cancer Foundation for Research. That's a great idea. That's yeah. a great idea. And she must be thrilled about she, that. Yeah, she's very sweet and she was very kind and loves the idea. Thank you. Good. I'm so happy. Well, have a great time tonight you, too. you look beautiful thank you so do you always as always you. as always thank you I'm with Boyd Rainmaker Melson, and he's going to tell you what his title is and show you the wonderful belt that he has. Yes, ma'am. So this title I have, this is the WBC World Boxing Council Junior Middleweight United States Championship. And I won this last year, May 8th. And what else did you want to hear from I, me? I, I want to know why the, the nickname Rainmaker. So if you go throughout cultures... The Rainmakers, throughout history, the Rainmaker always brings hope. Oh, and my that's, that's perfect for tonight because tonight cancer patients need hope, don't they? Do they ever. Right? Uh, you know, I, I had worked in medical device sales and I was at Sloan Kettering was trialing one of our device, really? devices. And I had to be inside the operating room in their pediatric unit and watch these two-year-olds have surgery and be operated on and uh, the first day I had to do this and they told me they had a neuroblastoma it's a huge tumor inside yes, I've heard of that. and that she was gonna pass this was just a surgery but life and I, had, I went outside and I, I remember they had to move her and when they moved her the sheet came off and I got to see her little body and her her little toenails were painted and I saw her Aww. and she was just a little girl and I I had to go out. I went out. I left the room. And I went outside. I started crying, and I couldn't stay in the operating room. Yeah. Uh, no. So cancer it, and it hits me really, really hard. It's tough. It affects people of all ages, and and as I had said earlier, if if somebody here isn't a survivor, either their parents have passed or relative have passed, they have a friend that's that's struggling with it. So it's so important that that we're all here today. So let me ask you, what what else is next? Are you still competing? 
there's a reality show being pitched on my life. Oh, nice. And there's some in, there's finally two production companies said no. The third one one is wants to see the sizzle reel. Uh-huh. After hearing the story and they just green-lighted a reality show with Tim Tebow as the host, so they're into feel good stories. Oh, so, nice. we're hoping uh, I'm real on the scene doing a lot of public speaking. A lot of public speaking. I just came back from the Steve Harvey Youth Mentorship Camp as a mentor. Wonderful. Good, good. They need example, good example, yes, right? Ma'am. Is there a website where people can find out more about you and see what you're doing? Teamfighttowalk.com. Teamfighttowalk.com. All spelled out. On Facebook, I'm the only Boyd Melson on this planet. I'm going to be running for Congress in 2018 wow. as well. I'm a captain in the United States Army Reserve, Woo. and I donate everything I earn in the ring to spinal cord injury research because of a promise I made to my best friend that I'll never give up on helping her walk for the rest of my life. That's so that's terrific. My story in, a, in a nutshell. That's terrific. You're a very giving person and I hope the night gives you a lot of joy. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for having me here and sharing this moment. You're welcome. I really appreciate it. Beautiful. Thank you. Under your face. Under your face. Oh, What is that, guys? Dan seared salmon, carrot ginger puree, sauteed edamame. I'm here with the very beautiful Aisha Lee and she is a fantastic photographer and she's also on the committee for this, aren't you? Yes. Um, so, I should be really working over there greeting the people, but... You know you're worth it. <laughs> I don't. Well, I'm just stealing you away for a minute. She does a lot of work because this is a, a, a big commitment. How much time does it take to get this together? Well, you know what? We have a lot of hands. The committee is about 70 people. Wow. So it's worked out really well. And the subcommittees meet. So it's not like we have to be together every week. Oh, okay. It works out really well. That's good. So now, am I correct? This is the sixth year for this? Yes, so you're really getting into the groove for having a good system for this, right? Each year is growing bigger. Last year we sold out. This year we sold out even like a day Faster earlier. than earlier than last year, so it's and we've also changed it. We started to give to the American Cancer Society, oh, okay. That's good. but now it's the Carol Baldwin Foundation. Yeah. So Alec Baldwin is the host. The money stays here in Long Island, yes. and Long Island comes and supports us. Yes. It's it's just incredible the amount of support and the media and the journal ads. But I believe tonight we can raise two million, oh. which is it really amazing for a one night. Um, that's amazing. That's amazing, and I know that Alec Baldwin is, is in the house. I saw him walk in earlier. And now, can you tell us a little something about the work that you do and your website? Because she is the most unbelievable photographer. I love your work. Uh, it it, up, it uplifts me every morning when I see one of your beautiful paintings online. Tell us about what you do. Well, my work is very serene and healing. Nature and color has a way of healing so there I get a lot of messages from people in hospice or hospital because it calms them or even if they're stressed at work they look or I get messages uh, on my way commuting on the train I love it it just inspires people and I love that I love that it, it just a, a little bit of joy that we can share we all can do a little something so I feel I'm doing my little part and that's really in tune with tonight because it is about helping and healing and that's the work that you do do you have a website Asia Asia Lee Fine Art thank you congratulations on another successful event thank you thank you Mwah. I'm with a terrific musician Paul Sequence Ferguson, and this is his fifth year at the Hospitality Bowl. Paul, are you going to be performing tonight? Oh, most definitely. I'll be on the main stage tonight from 7 till about 8. And uh, actually, I saw my great friend Richard Canada. He was out there playing sax, and I just said I couldn't believe it. It was, it was great. It was great, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
And um, now, who else have you been? Uh, you work with Shaka Khan and other people like that, right? Um, yes, I've on the same stage with Shaka Khan. I've performed with um, Jazz Mataz, Guru from Gangstar. I, I was his keyboard and guitar player for him. Um, I've played all over the world, UK Jazz Festival, um, the North Sea Jazz Festival. I could just go on naming a lot of people, but I was fortunate enough to be played with most of these uh, top-rated artists, yes. Yes, and you also do a lot of work for veterans, don't you? You're affiliated with Yes We Care. What do you do for veterans? Okay, well, Yes We Care is founded in 2006. Uh, we do a lot. Uh, Post-traumatic stress, DVDs, relaxation CDs. Uh, we give um, helping hands bags to the uh, homeless, uh, veterans in shelters. We also work with uh, kids with cancer and just regular homeless and women veterans also. Yes, and tonight is a very special event because it's for Carol M. Baldwin, who is doing everything to help cancer survivors. Now, I'm sure you know a lot of people that are survivors of cancer, right? Well, I know one in particular myself. Yes. And uh, thank God I'm still here. But there's quite a lot of others that are actually silent about it. And I wish they would come forward and be proud that they have survived because it's a great thing to be here still on this planet. Yeah, well, Paul, I'm a survivor myself 15 years. So uh, I'm here to support anybody any way that I can. Thank you so much, Paul. Have a great night. And I'm going to come by and catch you rocking out. Great. Appreciate <laughs> it so much. No yeah. problem. Bye. <laughs> I'm here with Fran Petito, who is a very well-known philanthropist. Fran, this is a fabulous event. I'm so happy to see you here tonight. You're always supporting good causes. Uh, well, you know what? This is for Carol Baldwin, Breast Cancer Coalition, so it's really important that all the women on Long Island support them. Yes. And Eva Pappas asked for help, so we're here. Yes, you're doing something with fashions tonight, am I correct? Uh, we're actually the raffle committee. So we're going to get people to help support with finances this time. A little different, but yeah. Oh, okay, and you, ha you have a, an, a, an a event coming up, right, for, uh, what, what is it, the New York Sports Scene Children Foundation, a golf outing coming up? Yeah, Celebrity Golf Classic, August 15th at the Hamlet, looking for sponsors, foursomes. Everybody gets to play with celebrities, and we have a dinner separate, and you'll be there, so oh. it's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, well, have a great time tonight, thank Fran. You, thank you for coming, and thank you for always being there to help everybody that you can, because that's how you are. Thank you. It's our pleasure, Helen. <laughs> I'm with the 52nd Street Band. Is that the correct oh, name? The Lords of 52nd, 52nd Street. Street. And you were named that because you, it had to do with the studio that you played at, right? Yes. Mr. Phil Ramon he, uh, he came up with the idea for this name. So, uh, yeah, the studio and all the jazz clubs and everything. 52nd Street was the place. You want to introduce yourselves to the camera? Your Liberty DeVito, do you want, I'll tell you a bit of trivia. I worked with your mother. Is your mother still with us? No. She passed away in the last year. Oh, I'm so sad to hear that she was a supervisor at Allstate or Geico, right? Years, years ago. Oh, yeah. And I was a temp, and she was my supervisor, and she talked about you all the time. Liberty DeVito, one, <laughs> wonderful drummer, right? And, and what is your name? Richie Canada. Richie Canada. Now, you're playing tonight, guys. How exciting is that, right? And you're the, you're the musicians that actually made Billy Joel great, right? Because it was a whole team and you're very talented, right? 
I know, but he wouldn't have picked you if you weren't terrific. And I know you're well, he wonderful. Did, he did see the greatness in in us, and he knew that we were the um, the pre people he needed. Uh, What's on your set list for tonight? I'm not telling. It's a surprise. <laughs> Is it a surprise? We're opening up with uh, uh, Barbara Rand going into Inagata DeVito. Oh. And then... Uh, Isn't that funny? That's I Am Butterfly. Right. Hey, I sang with the band myself, so I know music <laughs> a little bit. Da, na, 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 na. How many sets are you going to get to play tonight, guys? Uh, about 40. 40 something minutes quick. So isn't this a great event? It's so wonderful that you're coming out to help with the Carol M. Baldwin Cancer Research Foundation. It's a great event. You see the turnout. You're a big part of the draw. Everybody's coming to see you guys. Have a great performance tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you're you. welcome. Wait, stay still for a photo. Photo. Liberty, Liberty. What? Oh. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Say a prayer for your mom. Thanks. She loved you so. Annual Long Island Hospitality Ball. We're going to make it quick. We want to keep that rain from falling down. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the one and only Mr. Alec Baldwin. Hospitality Ball for your generosity for coming out tonight. Like I said, before the rain starts to come down, we want to get this party started. I want to say thank you for everybody. And now, join me on this main stage as we welcome. And I want to say thanks to Keith Hart. Let's have a round of applause for Keith Hart. And now, please welcome the Lords of 52nd Street. All right, thank you. Are you ready for some music? Here we go. Yeah, I'm telling you, Chevy, for a Cadillac, hey, 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 hey. 
I'm with the terrific Ray Nader from the Nader Agency, and I'm so happy that you're here tonight. Don't you look so handsome? Thank you, Helen. You look beautiful yourself. Thank you. Thank you. I see you have your pink on. I do. Yes. Got to show support for the cause. You know, it's a fantastic cause this evening as everybody's coming out to support breast cancer and cancer in general. So we truly thank everybody that have uh, supported the event, who have bought tickets, and we've actually sold out 2,500 tickets. So it's a great feat in itself. And, uh, and thank you to the sponsors as well, for all the sponsors this evening, the restaurants and purveyors and the uh, brands that came in this evening. So we certainly like to thank them as well. Yeah, and it, it's so terrific because you have all the brands, you have the food, you have entertainment, terrific bands. And the main thing is that they're raising money for a foundation that touches everybody. If you don't have cancer and you're not a survivor yourself, who doesn't know somebody that, that hasn't had cancer, right? That's true. My, actually, my grandmother passed away of breast cancer, so we actually donated her body to science. So uh, this is a fantastic cause, and I'm truly uh, happy to be here and to be in attendance and to support the cause. The Carol Ann Baldwin Foundation, the Long Island Hospitality Ball, the Heart Agency, and the beautiful Helen. <laughs> Primus. Well, listen, tell me a little something about your agency. What is it that you're doing here right now, Ray? Well, the Nader Agency uh, is a public relations company. We provide uh, public relations, talent management, global marketing, and we're just assisting in the event. We're happy to be on the volunteer committee this year and assisting the event and selling tickets and bringing on sponsorships and gifts and uh, gift certificates and and gift baskets for our uh, raffle this evening. So, yeah. yes, thank you so much. Yeah, I was in that room earlier, and boy, what a bunch of baskets you have, and that does take a lot of work, but it's everybody coming together to help for the Carol M. Baldwin Foundation. Thanks so much, Ray. Have a great night. Thank you, Helen. Thank you, everybody. I'm here with Dana Wachter, and she's Miss Hudson Valley. Wow. Aren't you beautiful? When did you win your crown? Last October, I was crowned, and I'm very sad because this coming October, which is just a couple months away, oh. I'm giving up my crown. Oh, that's so sad. So what did they have you doing during this this time? So tonight I'm going to be selling raffles, but throughout my reign I've done a lot of different charity work, especially a lot with breast cancer awareness since my cousin was a breast cancer um, survivor and she had to have a double mastectomy. So this is something that's very near and dear to my heart. Yeah, yeah. Well that's a good thing that you're doing that. Now what are you going to do after your reign? Do you go to school? I'm actually a third grade special education teacher in Flushing, Queens, so that's something I'm going to continue doing. Oh. Aren't they lucky to have you for a teacher? <laughs> Thank you. Where can people find out more about you? Do you have a website? I do. You can go on to HudsonValleyPageants.com or um, you can follow me on my Facebook, which is Miss Hudson Valley 2016 at Facebook.com. Thank you so much. Good luck to you. Thank you. I'm here now with Ingrid Dodd, who's the co-founder of the Long Beach International Film Festival, and she's also just started a new PR company. Am I yes. right, Ingrid? Yes, I did. I just started it about five weeks ago. 
How exciting is that? How are you doing with it so far? It's good. You know, I have a lot of entertainment and film companies. I have Grumman Studios, and it's a lot of fun. It's just all entertainment-based. That's good. And then you're gearing up now for the festival because that's in August, right? Yes, August uh, 3rd through the 5th this year. Oh, okay. Yes, I hope you're there. Yeah be there but I also want to say that it's so good what you do with the PR because you can help supply people for wonderful events like this because people like to have celebrities at charity events and isn't this a fabulous event we're having here tonight Ingrid? Honestly this event is ridiculous it's absolutely stunning everything and everyone looks beautiful and we're all here for a great cause so it makes it even better. And believe me, the, the buses are pulling up. People are, are staying, you know, nearby. You They're in buses. Get, it's mobbed out there. It's a mob scene. I was lucky to sneak in. I know. You have to really be here to understand what's going on. It's huge. It is. It's huge. And you know what? I like the press outside. I think yeah. it gets everybody excited to, yeah. to go inside. Yeah. And then we're going to go and mingle and we're going to, you know, get some candid shots of you guys and see what really goes on when you think the camera's not on. <laughs> Ingrid, is there a website where we can find out more about you? Yes, longbeachfilm.com. And what about your PR? Oh, Ingrid.pr.com. Oh, she's good. Isn't she so good? I love her. <laughs> Thank you, Ingrid. You look beautiful as Thank always. Very too. stunning. Mwah.